The state opposition says the O'Farrell government is pandering to the Shooters and Fishers Party to help get its legislation passed. The coalition is winding back restrictions at three marine conservation areas while ordering a scientific review into all marine parks. It says locking communities out of waterways is not the way to protect fish habitats. The opposition is crying foul. They fish and they vote. Today's good news for recreational anglers came in the shape of 200 concrete balls. They were dropped into Sydney's Botany Bay to extend an artificial reef. The fish love it. They come uh, and they love the, the new habitat. Uh, it's great for the fishermen, obviously, as well. So it's a real win-win situation. Another win for the fishing lobby is the recent decision to wind back restrictions Labor introduced at the Solitary Islands, Fish Rock and Green Island and Jervis Bay. At five minutes to the election, a couple of things did happen uh, from the Labor government. There were accusations that that was done over Greens' preferences. The ministers also ordered a review into all marine parks. There has been concern that marine parks have been put in place without really having a scientific-based evidence model. There's a, an enormous volume of evidence from overseas and here in Australia to demonstrate that reducing fishing pressure increases fishing uh, fish stocks. The opposition believes the Premier is trying to win over the Shooters and Fishers Party, which holds the balance of power in the Upper House. He said he'd do no deals. What we're seeing is our fragile marine environment up for grabs so he can get the numbers in the Legislative Council. The Shooters and Fishers Party says it will use its political clout to try to influence government policy. Our constituents expect certain things from us and that's what we're elected to do. I will continue to push our agenda. The government says its fishing policy has nothing to do with other political parties and is something it took to the election. Mark Tobin, ABC News.